If you've ever tried to add up hours in Google Sheets, you may have gotten frustrated and for good reason. A lot of things aren't very intuitive about trying to add or determine the difference between two timestamps. So let's jump right in with this example. So I may just try to take the out, subtract the in, and then it returns a 8 a.m., which is not helpful whatsoever. And so maybe you're savvy and you know, maybe I can change the number format to a number, but now I have 0.33, which seems to make even less sense. So what do we do here? So the reason why is in Google Sheets, these are all basically numbers. And so what we're doing here is we're getting this difference. And so what does this number represent? Well, this is a fraction of a day. And so if I go back to my timestamps here, so if it's a fraction of a day, each hour is 124, because right, there's 24 hours in a day. And so if I take this difference and then times by 24, now I wind up with how many hours I have between these two times. And so I could drag this down and then I could come up with a sum for that time. Just like that. So now I have 40 hours for this time. I come in here and adjust one of these, maybe this to 930. You can see everything adjusts automatically. And so that works great. And so I'm gonna show you an in and out with a double, so like morning and afternoon shift. But I wanted to point out, this works no matter if you're working with a timesheet or if you're working with a ticket open, close, whatever it is, and you need to calculate the hours, this will work just fine. One more note is if you need to convert this to minutes, just do times 60, and then you'll have that there as well. And so this probably makes more sense. We do something like 9.30 a.m. And you can see there, 30 minutes. All right, so let's continue on here. So this works great if you want to calculate the hours for each row, but what if you want to be able to have one cell to calculate the whole thing? So you could try to do sums on this, but it's not gonna work. And so what we need to do basically, we need to subtract our ins from our outs, and then times by 24. And so we can use an array formula to do this, and then we can do this minus our ins. And so that gives us, and you can see this formatting is getting goofy. So we can do automatic alternates and times. We can go to numbers, and there's our numbers, but we need to times this by 24. And so what I'm going to do in here is wrap that with parentheses. So that happens first, and then times by 24. And now we have our eight hours for each day. And then all we have to do is put sum around our array formula. And now we have our 40 hours. And again, if I come in here and adjust, you can see it automatically adjusts just there like that. So let me put in 30. There we go, 39 and a half. So now let me go down to my second case. So if you have multiple of these, then we essentially can do the same thing. We just have to do it twice. But first of all, let me show you how to do this in one cell and do it for each day. So in this case, all we're doing is this twice. So we can do this times 24, or we can do then again this minus this one, and then wrap this whole thing and do the whole thing times 24. And then again, this is showing up as AM, so let's convert it to a number. And there's our eight hours and drag it down just like that. So we don't have to times each one by 24 first. We just put them together and now we can times the whole thing by 24. And so if we want to use a single cell to calculate the total time for this week, for example, without breaking it out by row, then if we go back to our array formula, we can do this column minus this column. And then again, we have our numbers there. Change this to a number. You can see those are zero, so it's not going to affect our total. So we can do kind of like what we just did. And then we can do another set of parentheses. And this one will be D. Pull this out because we can't see anything here. D11, D17 minus C11 to C17. 
So there's our primary one. So one thing to keep in mind is you don't want to do the, the times 24 outside of it because this is actually only done to one row. So what we need to do is have this inside. But if we do it here, then we're still not getting it quite right because we're only getting 4.7. So it's only doing it in this one. So again, we need to use these parentheses, wrap the whole thing there, times 24. Now we have our 8, 8, 8, and so forth. And so now we can wrap this entire thing with a sum and call it good. So now we have our 40 hours for the week. If we adjust one of these end times, let's say they took off a little early this day, and we can see 39 just like that. All right, let's go through one more scenario where your end or out time is theoretically less than your end time. So for example, 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. So we understand this is the night before and the morning after, but when you try to convert the time, it doesn't work out right. And so if we just try to do our normal math, take our end time minus our beginning time and times by 24, we wind up with negative 16, which is not right at all. So what we have to do in this case is because this time is the next day, we have to add one to it. But the problem is then if it is in the same day, like in this example, then we don't want to do that. So what we can do is a simple if statement. So if our out time is less than our end time or start and end, then what we're going to do is D3 plus 1 minus C3, and then this will be times 24. Otherwise, we can do D3 minus C3 times 24. Just like that. So now we have eight hours, and we pull this down, and we can see that each of these works out to eight hours, even though some of these go across to the next day. So, one way we could also express this is we can get rid of this times 24 here, and the same thing here, and do it outside. And that makes our formula just a little bit easier. And this makes more sense when we go to an array formula. So, in our array formula, We'll do array formula and we'll say if this is less than this, then what we're going to do is D3 to D7 plus 1 minus C3 to C7. Otherwise, D3 to D7 minus C3 to C7. And then outside of this, we can do times 24. And so let's get rid of these just so we can see this come down. And so let me go ahead and move this down right here. So there you can see our eight hours and we can sum this up like that. And there we go. So then we basically repeat the same thing for down here. And so let's go ahead and work this out for one row first, and then we'll come back and put it into a array formula. So in this one, let's start with our left hand side. And so we'll just do if our D11 is less than C11, then we're going to do our D11 plus 1 minus C11, otherwise D11 minus C11. So that gives us our first time, and then we can just basically add this, and so we're not doing the 24 yet, we'll do it at the end, and we're going to do the same thing with our rate formula. Copy and paste this, and we'll update it. So let's just change our D's to F's, and then our C's to E's. There we go. So now we need to take this whole thing, and we can wrap it inside parentheses. So this happens first, and then times 24. There we go. There's our eight hours, and so we can drag this down and get those totals. So then we basically need to do the same thing inside here. So we have our times 24. So we need to just take this part and wrap it in parentheses. And then we're going to do our plus, and then we're going to copy and paste this. So first of all, let's get this to the right range. So we'll do D11 to 17, 11, 17, 17. There we go. 
So now we just take this whole thing, copy and paste, and then I'm going to do control enter just to put this on a new line, just so it's easier to run through. And so then again, we're gonna change all our D's to F's and then all of our C's to E's. So D goes to F, so let's go ahead and do that. And then all of our C's go to E's. And so this bulk kind of change like this is a little easier to follow than rebuilding from scratch. So as long as you validate that one works correctly, then you should be good to go. And so as long as we make sure this is all within those parentheses, times 24, to enter, and there we go, there's our 40 hours. All right. So that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.